Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the heirs of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel, who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just by yon back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to speak on these cats, man, over at Fopi. Uh, another another um, wayward wayward group, suspicious uh, activity, okay, being produced uh, by these group of individuals, you know, alongside uh, uh, One Body and Satan, um, the IUIC, which we know they sold out all the way through. <laughs> uh, Mr. 100 plus million dollar man uh, over there known as uh, Bishop Nathaniel uh, GOCC not even the conversation piece okay uh, uh, Sakari pff, bringing guns to camp alright self explanatory you see hey, th 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 this, is, this is how we know we're at the end man okay it's becoming evident okay who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is truly uh, dealing with. And when you take a glance with spiritual eyes, you can clearly see that the truth came out of one West, okay? And it it, it mainstreamed uh, through GMS. Point blank period. The elders and apostles never changed the doctrine up until this very point. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit has enhanced it, okay? And has made it more elaborate and accurate with certain breakdowns and understanding uh, when it comes to these uh, unspeakable oracles, man. Okay, and one thing that we know, you know, from the elders and the apostles of the great most of on down to us like-minded men, uh, know that we got right, is who Esau is, man. We know who evil he is. Okay, the scriptures clearly tell us, man. And you got these individuals over at Fopi, okay, telling their congregation, okay, telling Jake, that uh, Esau is a black man with red hair, man. You know how e that's evil, man. Because not only are you uh, not warning, okay, whoever, whoever may be listening to you, who their enemy is, okay, you're hindering, okay, individuals that believe on you as far as where we stand in prophecy, and this being the final captivity. If that's the case, if evil E, okay, is a, is black people with, with red hair, okay, number one, where are they? Number two, this means we have a, a whole nother captivity to go into as people, as, a, as Israel, excuse me, as a nation of Israel, as a people is what I meant to say, the nation of Israel. We would have uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will have a whole other captivity. There will, there will have to be a greater empire than this one erected in the future. A more wicked empire. You see? <laughs> we'll be, we're, we're ages away from the, from the Karagma then, if that's the case. Okay, we're ages away from Jake waking up. It doesn't make sense. Your stance doesn't add up. Okay? And it's a very wicked thing what you're doing, man. We have to speak comfortably, okay, to our people, man, and give them the true understanding of what's coming and where we are in time based off the prophecies, man, which are speaking loud and clear, you know? And you men, women, and children that are following behind individuals, <coughs> like the few camps I named, and it's a guarantee that you're going to err, okay, when the time comes where salvation is necessary, man. Unless Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has mercy on you and allows you to be drawn out of that madness, man. 
Because these men, okay, these wicked leaders of these wicked wayward congregations, all right, that have signed uh, backdoor deals with Evil E, okay, that helped push his narrative and sow confusion and uh, slander the true servants and believers of the Lord. Guess what? Their foot's going to slip in due time, as it tells us in Deuteronomy 32, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to catch them slipping, man. As a matter of fact, let's start right there. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Salaki for the long introduction. You know, but these, these, these vipers, these, 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 these scorpions, man, you know, really get under my skin. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. Now I see why Yahweh Shai likened these wicked niggas onto generations of vipers, man. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32. And this lesson is not going to be long. I don't like to waste time with wicked niggas, man. You know? They're going to get their due judgment. But this is, it is prophecy that they'll be doing these things. So it is, it's necessary. It's a necessary evil. Um, as Elder Apostle Gabar uh, mentioned in one of his lessons. He titled it that way. It is a necessary evil. You know, for these wicked niggas to be doing what they're doing. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 35. And it reads... To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. What does recompense mean? Revenge. Okay? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to get revenge. Okay? On you wicked scribe and Pharisee, false prophet, false teacher. Okay? Uh, uh, sell out niggas, man. Okay? Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. And real quick, bear with me. When you get this word. When you get this word slip. In the blue letter Bible. Or slide rather. Strong's H forty one thirty one. Moat. Moat. Right? When you go into biblical usage, it goes into what? Tatada, shake, slip. Okay, <laughs> y'all watch, y'all watch me. Y'all shots gonna catch you niggas slipping. Okay, Tata, shake. Check this out. Hey, definition B is what I want. To be shaken, to be look at, be moved, be overthrown. You see that? You wicked sellout niggas. Okay, are gonna be overthrown. Okay, and you're covering it with death. Okay, it's gonna be disannulled, man. Because as it's written in, and it's in, written in a few places. But Proverbs eleven, let's go ahead real quick. No hand joined in hand, right? The wicked are not gonna go on punished, man. As a matter of fact, you're gonna be punished right along with them. The book of Proverbs, chapter eleven. I'm gonna start at verse nineteen. Verse twenty one is the point, and it reads. As righteousness tendeth to life, so he that pursueth evil pursueth it to his own deletion. You see, a hey, in teaching a false doctrine, pushing a false narrative, flipping and bouncing the scriptures, adding and taking away, that's evil. And it tells you that when you go here. Let's go here real quick. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23. Going into the visitation of false pastors, man. You false prophets, man. It's, the point's in verse 2. Let me just read from the top. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. And it reads, Woe, which means destruction, be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saying the Lord. And how do you do that? By, by, t by teaching false doctrine. Because the false doctrine, ultimately, that's, that's a lie. You have guile in your mouth. 
okay? Which is going to deem you um, uh, unworthy. And ultimately, it's going to deem you, um, you're not going to be blameless before the throne. Okay? When, they, when, they, hey, when you have to come, when you have to sit in that judgment seat, man. You're not going to be found blameless. But it's your lot to be in this position. You see? We're all preordained. And that's why, this, hey, this is a scary thing, man. Okay, because you sell out men, all right? You think that you're doing the right thing. You think that you're okay. <laughs> Not realizing uh, the terror that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahusha is going to bring, man. Right? The book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 2, and it reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Okay, and what do you feed them? You feed them. The doctrine. In your case, you're feeding them false doctrine, GMO. Okay, ultimately causing them to what? To scatter. Check it out. You have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit you, uh, Salakia. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord Yahweh. See that? So it's an evil thing to teach false doctrine, man. And that's why when you go back to Proverbs, it says, let's read it again. Proverbs 11 and 19. As righteousness tendeth to life, okay? And hey, ultimately, this truth is going to be how we make it out. Pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6. This wisdom and knowledge, man, is going to be the stability of our time. This true understanding, the true gospel. The 144% truth. Check it out. So he that pursueth evil, pursueth it to his own deletion. You, you, you individual out there teaching false doctrine, okay? And you sheep that are following behind it, eating on it. Guess what? You're, the end for you is the same. Go read Ezekiel 14. It will tell you. You see? The judgment, okay, is going to be the same. It's going to be one and the same. Okay? For those of you that believe in the false report. Okay? And those of you that are pushing it. It's going to be the same judgment coming upon you. You see, hey, what scriptures say? If the blind lead the blind, they shall both fall into the ditch, man. Proverbs 11 and 20, and it reads, They that are of a froward heart, right? Froward going into hard to deal with. Okay, heart going into mind, Hebrew word lab. Okay, so they that have a forward heart, pretty much hard headed, man, are an abomination to the Lord Yahweh, right? You can't be corrected, you can't be reproved. You see, you can't be told a damn thing. You're being told that you're going off, your doctrine's off, but you think you got it. Why? Because <laughs> you got the devil on you, man. The spiritual demon Satan's working through you niggas, man. That's what it is. But such as are upright in the way, in their way, are his delight. Okay? And those that are upright in the way are those pushing the true doctrine to our people. You see? The elect... From the servants to prophets, the true servants, to the men, women, and children that believe the report that your true servants are delivering them. Okay? <laughs> Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahusha takes pleasure in, 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 in speaking the right thing, man. The, there's, there's no liar. There's no, the scripture goes into how uh, there is no lie of the truth, man. You see, the truth is pure because the words of the Lord are pure. You see? And the true men of the Lord are coming with good tidings for the elect. A matter of fact, let's get this real quick. There's no lie of the truth, man. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52, in verse 7, and it reads, How beautiful upon the mountains, which mountain goes into governments, right? Which where there's, there's prophets all over the all over the world, but primarily right here, 
in Mystery Babylon the Great, where the greatest deliverance is going to take place. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, which come in the form of this true gospel, right? That publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, which Zion in the Hebrew is to Zion, okay, which goes into monument, memorial, or parched place. It's another way to say Jerusalem. Thy power reigneth, man. See that? Thy power reigneth. You see, our so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Our power is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And no one else's. Amos 3 tells us this. You see? <laughs> but you got men saying that everybody can be saved as well. Reprobates over here like out of Boston. Okay? Just just all men is a wayward doctrine being pushed forth. Okay? And you got individuals. I, I got this right here. I was watching this this morning. Brother Elder, uh, bear, bear with me. From the Elder Yashawamba, yeah. I was watching this and check this out. This is from Fopi, the same crazy niggas that said uh, Esau's a black man with red hair. Check this out. Check out what they wrote in the in the Elder Apostle uh, Tahar's uh, comment board, a comment section. All right, peace. This is this Quanaf at Fopi. I would like to interview you on how you came into the truth and how you see one West then and now no more or less. Doesn't this seem like a, a the, the same mindset as Vocab Malone? Don't these niggas know that uh, <laughs> Great Millstone don't do interviews? Great Millstone don't debate? Why are you asking this same repetitive question? Just like the Christians. They come with that same, they come with the same uh, stance. Anybody can be saved. God loves everybody. But here it is that's been uh, dismantled time and time again. So you see the spirit that's on these niggas right here. You, you should, hey, you can read what an what an individual writes, and that's 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 their mindset, man. On display, on display. These niggas are sellouts, man. Check it out. You can do a video. We will put it up. The people on this side that may not know you will know how GMS started. Please think about it, Elder. We may not see things the same, but you cool with Fopi. We don't get upset when people do videos on us. We like the feedback to see all sides to get to, get to truth. Hey, <laughs> The sheep hear the Lord's voice and they follow him, man. It doesn't take any elaborate interviews or debates to uh, have the sheep understand. The word just comes out in this veracity, man. And the true followers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will gather. You see? These niggas have phobia out of their mind. Now, real quick, let's close out right here. And they, hey, they doing, they signed the back. Hey, I'm speaking as a man. And hey, they signed. If you ask me, they, they they signed the backdoor deal, man. And now they're trying to sow confusion. They've been doing it for a while. They've been uh, signed the back uh, backdoor deal. If you ask me, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter eleven. We're gonna close out right here. In verse twenty one, and it reads, "Go hand join in hand." The wicked should not be unpunished, man. So as much as you niggas, okay, over at uh, one body and Satan want to say, oh, uh, uh, Jacob and Esau, that was just a, that was just a doctrine. Okay, that was in Rebecca. That was a, a duck. And then you want to go ahead and go on and say, um, what else did these crazy niggas say about Esau? Um. Oh, they said uh, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he no longer hates Esau. He actually hates Jacob now and loves Esau. Tripping. Okay, clearly joining in with evil E. 
okay, in efforts to, to support his narrative and defend him and keep him hid. Here it is, all this understanding has come forth. The revealing of the wicked, which is a big part of biblical prophecy, pursuing the second Thessalonians, the second chapter. It's, it's actually happening. And you got niggas, okay, trying to take the scriptures and create narratives where it hides evil E. You wicked, evil niggas, man. And may Yahweh Bashimiao Shai visit you. Okay? <laughs> may Yahweh Bashimiao Shai visit you with a cruel messenger, man. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 21 from the top. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man. Evil E, evil E's day is 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 written. In, 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 in infamy, man. Evil is doomed, man. And those of you that are joined unto him, you're doomed too. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed which goes into bloodline, which goes into that chosen seed of Israel. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And there will be speckled birds as well uh, due to our scattering. Pursuing the Deuteronomy 28 and 64, which would um, pretty much uh, cause us to look like the other nations as well. You see, because of the scattering. But there's a, there's a chosen seed line that will be delivered in these latter days, man. There's a chosen within the chosen, pursuing the Galatians 6 and 16. So amongst the chosen people, there's a chosen. Okay, and that seed will be delivered. That's that righteous seed. Okay, starting with the servants, the prophets that the Lord, okay, has ordained, trickling all the way down to the men, women, and children, okay, that believe the report that have been predestinated to see the salvation of our Lord Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, man. So yeah, man, you niggas got a visitation coming. Okay, hey, and we're set in defense of the gospel, man. We're going to keep bringing it out on you. Okay, we're going to grind you to powder, man. Okay, until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai says that's enough. And we're not going to keep, we're not going to stop speaking our evil E. Okay? There's no bill, there's no uh, unrighteous decree that's going to stop this word from going out, man. We're going to, we're going to code it out. We're going to code it out. It's going to come out. It's just going to have to be coded up. You see? And those of the hopeful elect are going to understand the, 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 the song, man. Okay, because that's part of the song. Speaking in Proverbs and dark sayings, that's how Yahweh Shai spoke. You know? But guess what? As he told his uh, disciples, to you are the mysteries of the king. Matter of fact, let's close out there. I'm sorry. Bear with me. I'm going to close that right here. Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And parables are dark sayings. You see? And that's how we're going to have to start to speak as and, and, and while we aim at evil E, okay? And these nickel hats, man. See? That's like, that's cold right there. But guess what? The elect, no, you, you beloved Akiyam and Akwa that are in the courts of the Lord, you know exactly who I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> you see? Check this out. He answered and said unto them, because it is given to, unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, Mysteries going into secrets, see? But to them, it is not given. You see, that's so ultimately, those are the not of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai's, they're going to fall for these snares of these wicked niggas, man, for these the snares of these foxes, man. Okay? Undesirables are going to fall for it. You see? Why? Because the mysteries were not given unto them, man. They're not going to be able to go into the, go into the volume of the book. 
okay, in efforts to make sense of the of the uh, <laughs> debauchery that these niggas are speaking, because they're not chosen to be part of this thing. They're actually chosen to be deceived. Remember, the deceived and the deceiver are his. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kalayim La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash. Shalom.